Okay, this is a story about my friend named Chris. Here's how the story started. Chris was referred to my husband, who's a physical therapist in La Jolla office, um, to get her neck treated, her back, and some other issues. And I happened to be working for Michael at the time in his office doing office work, basically answering the phone and helping with billing, etc. So Chris came in, this darling little blonde, and very fit and, and very personable and um, a fun sense of humor. And right away, we hit it off. Well, she was there for six weeks. And as the weeks went by, I began to get to know Chris, asking her about her past, etc. Well, by the third visit, I would say she shared with me that she also suffered from chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. Well, in my experience, having mentored lots of women over the years, um, many times women with these kind of illnesses suffered some sort of emotional or physical or spiritual trauma. So um, by the fourth or fifth visit, I started asking her about that and she began to share little bits with me. And I said, hey, you only have one more visit. How about if we go to lunch at your last visit? And she said, oh, that would be wonderful. So um, last visit came and we went to lunch in my car. I brought my Bible with me. And we went to this Mexican restaurant and we ate, we we're eating chips and salsa and I pulled out my Bible. And I said, Chris, has anybody ever told you uh, the gospel message? And she says, no, what's that? So I pulled out my Bible and I began to explain how Jesus loved her and that he died for her and that he wanted to get to know her personally and how he changed my life. And oh, we talked for maybe two hours and she just began to share. I said, Chris, have you ever had any situation where you've suffered from any kind of trauma in your past? And she began to share with me all the pain and sadness that she'd experienced at the hands of different men. Her father was an alcoholic. She had been sexually abused by a coach in high school and married a man who uh, was a ex NFL player who also abused her uh, at gunpoint sexually. And she ran away from him one night, packed up all her bags and fled. Well, her mother was also suffered from mental illness. And so Chris had never really been nurtured and loved. And so um, she was so open to the gospel message. Well, that day she went with me out to my car and she prayed to receive Christ, just tears running down her face and mine too. Well, another thing Chris and I have in common is we are both fitness trainers. And so uh, we shared the same silly humor and um, we became fast friends. I mentored her, uh, brought her to women's retreats, and the two of us began a ministry, maybe about 10 or 15 years later, called Fit for Eternity. And we held one day spa days for women, and we rented a big corporate facility. We had a um, aerobic room, we had a pool for water aquatics, we had a gym, we had an outdoor track where the women could do power walking and stretching. We had catered breakfast, catered lunches, and in the morning, um, I shared my testimony. The afternoon, Chris shared hers, and then after lunch, later in the afternoon, I would share the gospel. It was a fantastic ministry. We had it for about five years. We led maybe 50 women to Christ and one man. And that one man, his name is Albert. And that's another story that's following this. But Chris has grown in her faith. And uh, about five years after she accepted Christ, she said her husband wanted to know more. So I went over to her house and Dave also prayed to receive Christ with Chris and I. And the two of them now are... Um, elders in their church in La Jolla, and Chris uh, teaches evangelism and shares the gospel and mentors many, many young women. And boy, did the Lord use her. Matter of fact, he healed her of her fibromyalgia and her um, chronic fatigue. And now she has, she has a fitness class for elderly people in her backyard and all the other things that she does. And I hope to get her in the end of this video at some point so she can say hello to everyone. So now you know the story of Chris to be continued.